forwarding emails on a computer is pretty easy to do. You can see that I've got Windows Live Mail open here and a number of emails are in my inbox. There's one here that came from Training Highway Support to this computer's email address which is Beethoven at thway.co.uk and if I wanted to put the details of this or pass the details of what I've received from Training Highway to a couple of friends that want to join the learning and support system as you can see I've got a little button at the top here which says the word forward if I click on that button a new email window displays and you can see in the two box the cursor is flashing so if I wanted to send that on to somebody else in my address book if I just typed in the letter G Gladstone would be there I would just tap the enter key on the keyboard and if I use my tab key to jump in between the boxes I can actually get just at the top of the original message you'll see the original message in the main body of the email there and just type a few words in there what you may like to see this and then the person Gladstone in this case would be able to see the original email as you can see was sent from Training Highway Support it was sent to Beethoven and Beethoven is now forwarding this email to Gladstone so when I click on the send button there you will see that email disappears and just down by the information there's a little arrow there which indicates that that email has been forwarded I can then check in the sent items folder that my most recent email which is at the top of the sent items there is the one that I forwarded to Gladstone originally came from training highway support sent to my email address on this computer here back into the inbox of Beethoven's email Windows Live Mail system and we've got another email here proposed meeting if I click on that you'll see that this email uh, has been sent uh, to Batman Shakespeare and Mozart and when I forward this email you'll see that the names of the recipients, the previous people that received this email, Batman, Shakespeare and Mozart are actually still uh, shown in the section which shows the original email. So say for example I was sending this to, uh, to Sherlock from my list here I would then use my tab key again and just get into the subject line and pass that into the main body of the email where I could either choose to put something in there or just simply for your information before I send that email off that email is going to Sherlock but Sherlock will actually see the other people to whom the original email was sent so if I click on the send button there the email goes off and in my sent items folder again the most recent email shows that it's gone to Sherlock uh, but the original recipients of that email Batman, Shakespeare and Mozart are still shown in the original text of the email. Let's go back into the inbox again and I've shown you that for one very good reason that when you're forwarding emails you have to be careful that you don't forward on other email addresses that people have put into an email that you're pushing on to somebody else. Now if you look at the uh, email here that says where are we? Good morning. There we go. We've got a good morning email here 
and you can see that in the two box there are many many people that have received this email now the reason that you can see all of those people's email addresses or the names and the email addresses that are behind them is that the person that sent this it was sent from Houdini as you see did indeed put all the people's names in the two box so if I were forwarding that message on just as I did before what I would in fact be doing is if I sent this on to somebody else let's put another email address in there then the person that receives this email would have privy to all the email addresses of the previous recipients of that email now I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove those email addresses before you forward an email on so my cursor is now in the main body of the email and I can type um, some, uh, some text into here and before I send this email I am going to remove all the email addresses of the previous recipients so you'll see what I'm going to do is to tap the down arrow key and my cursor is now just above the whole block of email addresses that have been previously received this email. Normally if I tap the down arrow key my cursor would just move down but this time I'm going to hold down the shift key and tap the down arrow key and can you see what is happening by keeping the shift key held down and tapping the down arrow key before I before I forward this email I can remove all the original recipients so I've got them all selected and I simply tap the delete key on the keyboard and that will then just put the main body of that email without all the other email addresses that previously had received it and when I click on the send button I'm not contributing to a lot of private email addresses being sent to somebody else without their permission. The other thing about forwarding emails is that if you have an attachment, receive an email with an attachment, you can indeed forward that on as well. So I have clicked on the email there that says notes attached. You'll see that this has gone to a number of different people and it's got an attachment there 6001 an overview of digital cameras and I'm going to forward that email uh, this time I'm going to forward it on to uh, somebody else Miro, there we go and I'm using my tab key to tap the cursor down in each of these boxes and eventually when I get down to here you can see my cursor is flashing above the original message and again if I wish to remove those those people that receive the message in the original email I simply hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then tap the down arrow key and you'll see that line by line each of those is selected if I wanted to take the subject out and everything out about it I could select the subject line as well, tap the delete key on the keyboard uh, and there's no information about where that email came from in the first place and again I could just type in here anything that anything that um, would add to the email before I send it so there we go, there's the email, the original email um, and all the details about the original email has gone and indeed if I wanted to uh, remove the FW you notice in the subject box it's got the letters FW with a colon but if I just click into the box there and remove those as well that wouldn't be seen by the recipient Nero in this case as an email that had been sent uh, forwarded on to, uh, to them but had originally been sent to other people so I've removed all 
uh, instances of anything to do with the fact that it is being forwarded. So I click on the send button and then Nero will receive that email and he will also receive the attachment that is on there. So I've clicked on the sent items again. There's my notes attached email and there's nothing really there to see that it was a, an email that was forwarded on because I removed all the other information before I sent it to Nero. You've got the same situation down here. You can do the same with the picture file. There's a picture file attached. It's come from Training Highway Support. You can see it. it's gone to Beethoven. That's my computer here. If I forward that on, I can choose um, a person to whom to send it. There we go. And I can then just say, here's the picture I was talking of. And because it's only come to me, and I'm not worried about removing any other information, I can simply send that on and the recipient of this squeak at thua.co.uk will receive the original email that I've got there as well as the text that was put in that email with it. So if I go into my sent items again I can see that in a moment or two it's still sending the email because it is a picture file it does take a little bit longer there's the email there and there's the picture file that was attached to it before I forwarded it it's still attached to the email as is all the original text and the original recipient and date and everything that I left in that one so when you are forwarding emails one of the key things to remember is that if you do have email addresses that are in the original email you should think carefully about whether you remove those email addresses before you forward it on to other people if everybody did indeed put the uh, multiple recipients in the BCC box the blind carbon copy box then that problem wouldn't occur but unfortunately there are many um, emails that get whizzing around the internet um, often they're hoax emails saying that you've there's this terrible virus that's coming uh, please forward this on to all the people in your address book and most of those are simply hoaxes they are urban myths and they really just contribute to this big problem sometimes of having masses of email addresses forwarded on without the people's permission and there's nothing you can really do about that I'm afraid if somebody's forwarding your emails on and putting you all in the two box um, your email can end up in all sorts of places where you wouldn't really want it to be